So what are we actually doing here? We are selling our house, packing up all of our stuff, driving east, go looking for property, find something, move in, start all over. That's the general idea, right? So one project that we've been meaning to do for some time now is a nice wooden case to store all the film photography equipment. Nikon FM2, the 51.4, the 24F2, the Yashica mat, 124G, the tripod. And left are the components for the Mamiya RB67. 150 soft focus lens that goes on that. So for this case, I really want it to be nice and sturdy so it's great for traveling and really make it feel like one of these old world travel cases. So 24 by 18. For this build, we're gonna be using white oak and some beautiful rosewood. The white oak is half inch thick and the rosewood is eighth inch thick. So here I'm using my box joint jig and more info about that in the description. And throughout this project and yeah, many of my other projects, I'm using the RZ mask. And these come in all different colors and styles with replaceable filters, which is great. And I find the fit is good. So the glasses don't fog up when I'm using them. And I think we all know how frustrating it can be if you're making a cut like this and then your glasses fog up. So yeah, that doesn't happen here, which is great. So if you're interested in getting a mask and some filters, then make sure to use the code DIY20 for 20% off. So it's kind of nerve wracking counting to making sure that you're actually getting everything right. I think I got everything right though, but you never know quite. Yeah. Okay, I got them cut on both sides. Now let's hope everything fits together like a glove and let's do glue up. It makes sense, the size, you know, it doesn't feel too big or too small. I mean, that's just beautiful. Yeah. So I'm gonna use the table saw for like one more cut on this project, but that's probably gonna be the end of using the table saw here. After that, I'm gonna just be using like circular saw and you know more mobile tools because I'm gonna disassemble this stand and then probably pack up the saw more or less. It's kind of like the last project here for a while in this location. So I got four pieces here of 8 inch rosewood, really beautiful stuff. So since this wood is so thin, I'm afraid the wood is too thin to really glue solid panels. Um, so I'm thinking about adding some wooden strips. Okay, it has been drying. Just a little test. I'm gonna do the glue up now, gluing the rosewood to the oak and create like a closed box. So last night Matt came out here and did some sanding and some planing on the corners. Uh, so now it's time to cut the box open on the table saw. Mm. 
Okay, cool. So that is just over a half inch. Yeah. So it'll cut through the box and nothing more. Mm -hmm. It's as low as it can be. So here I'm using a different RZ mask model. This is their dual strap mesh that features an extra strap. And I just think the different colors here are fun too. Now I'm using a medium size and Matt uses these masks as well. And he uses the large size. Uh, so yeah, if you'd like to pick up one for yourself, then make sure to use the code DIY20 for 20% off. I got a couple of different pieces of hardware here from Rockler, so just kind of trying to figure out uh, what hinges, what to use, what finish to use. Like debating about whether to use, oh this actually, that looks kind of nice, huh? Just debating whether that, to use that. Because that adds protection, but I don't know. This one's a little bit more decorative, I guess. So I'm cutting up some fabric here um, because the top is really thin, which I think is going to be fine. But I was thinking that just in case you dropped it or something or it cracked, if it had some like fabric or something glued onto the inside, then it would almost act like fiberglass and kind of provide that extra strength. So I cut up some canvas here and I'm going to put it on with some contact cement, some water-based contact cement on both sides. I think that was rather successful. I'm gonna continue working on that tomorrow. Where is it going, Darwin? Okay, brand new day. Time to uh, mark out and uh, install these really cool locks. So I'm trying to figure out straps, lock, handle. I really kind of like the idea of these locks. So they're almost like the kind of combination locks that you would see on an old fashioned briefcase or something. So you would have one on each side and go Kling. <laughs> So it's kind of springy because I, I got the fabric on the other side here. But let's see if um, it's gonna work out. So I got the lock here and Ooh, quite perfect. Well, Elizabeth the Kaisen foam will cover this too, so you won't see this at all. So just to give these little prongs a bit more extra room to splay, um, I'm gonna use a Forstner bit and just drill just a little shallow hole to give them a little more room. So I was thinking to Matt, I guess they're using these nice little rounded pins for look so you can see the screw marks. And then he was like, well, I guess it wouldn't be very secure <laughs> if you had regular screws securing the lock, because then you could just bring a screwdriver and remove the lock. So yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> Thank 
Okay, so you sewed this handle together. Yeah, this is that same leather here. So there's two pieces in there. Say 16 and 3 fourths by 22 and 5 eighths. So everything is basically ready on the case now. The foam is in, and what's left is fitting all the gear inside. And then enough room here for a future lens. And maybe even rolls of film or something. And Who filters. Knows? Yeah, and some like filters. Little filters. Maybe. Yeah. So schlack, and then finish. Okay. Don't forget the area under there I missed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Looks good. You're so funny. Are you being a good dog? Okay. Like a hobo with a really nice suitcase. <laughs> pretty awesome doesn't it so everything is nice and organized inside here now everything has a spot and everything is like super secure so nothing like like wiggles around or anything when you carry it around it's just like it feels like a spy case or something doesn't it okay so already I um, think it turned out pretty cool. I think it's going to be really useful to have when we leave. We know where everything is. It's all protected. Um, so quite perfect. Now I will be back soon with another video um, about this whole process. Um, if you would like to check out the previous videos, what's going on, what are we doing, um, they are in the feed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you get notified of when there is a new video. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Bye. Well, this is not going to be too many more projects in here. No, the space is really uh, quite empty as of now. It's going to get emptier. So yeah, what are we like? Not, not a whole bunch of projects left. This is really like the last big one. And we've been doing the last bit of wax here today. Six pounds almost. A whole thing of tins. Actually, likely this may be the like final batch because I'm not sure if we're going to continue doing the waxes. Oh, you mean final of all time? Final of all oh, time. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, definitely or final definitely here. Definitely the final here. Possibly the final of all time. <laughs> <laughs>